Hello and welcome to my video on how to use a protractor. A uh, protractor is used to measure the amount of angle, degrees in an angle, and it is made up of usually a hole or a notch which you place over the vertex of the angle, a zero degree line which is at zero or going to the left at zero degrees. You'll notice there's two sets of numbers. You use the number that represents your angle. So if I'm over here at 120, that will be if it's an obtuse angle, and 60 across from the 120 will be if it's acute. So knowing that, let's try to measure an angle. What I have here is an angle, which I can measure from this side or I can measure from this side. Now, if the lines are too short to reach all the way over to where you're measuring, you can always extend the angles because rays go on forever. Just make sure that you're very much in line with the existing ray and extend it as far as you wish. Once you do that, then it'll be easier to read. So let's put this vertex inside this hole to view it. I've got the vertex right inside the hole. Now let's get this ray lined up where it's right on the zero line. The more accurate I am, the more accurate my measurement will be. There. This ray is in line with the zero degree line. The hole is over the vertex. And all I have to do is go up here and read where it goes. Now I have to choose. Is it 110 degrees or is it 70 degrees? Well, this angle is obviously larger than 90. So it's not acute. It would be obtuse. So it has to be more than 90. So it must be the 110. So this is 110 degrees. Now if I want to be sure, I can measure from this ray. All I have to do is extend the other ray as most accurate I can. I want to do that one more time. Yep, there we go. I like that. From this ray, I line it up with my zero and I get this over the vertex. I see my vertex in there. I see this is pretty much on the zero. And this is going through the 7110 mark. Again, it's obtuse, so I'm going to use the 110. This angle is very close to 110 degrees. Now, if I want to use my protractor to draw an angle, all I have to do so obviously start with a clean piece of paper and ask how big do you want this angle? Let's say someone wants it at 27 degrees. Well, angles are made of two rays joined at a single point called the vertex. So I'm going to draw a ray. A ray goes to the right on this case. Could go to the left, doesn't really matter. I drew mine horizontal, it could be vertical. The idea is I have to make sure I have 27 degrees <coughs> of separation. <clears throat> I put the vertex inside the hole. I line this ray up to zero. And then I find the 10 degrees away from the ray. The 20, that would be 25. And I want two more. So 20, 25, 26, 27. Now the 27 is just across from here. So my point is there is 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 21, 20, 10, 0. Okay, so this is 27 away at that point. Two points establish a line and a ray is a part of a line 
So I just connect the points. And what I have here is an angle that's at 27 degrees. A mechanical pencil is nice because the lead is thinner and more accurate. A sharpened pencil will work just fine. As long as you're within a degree of my measurements, you'll do fine on the test. And that is how you use a protractor.